Hi, I'm Chef Ange, and welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I wanna show you how to make these awesome buffalo chicken lollipops. These king size apps are the ultimate appetizer on game day, and maybe there is no big game and you just wanna eat them for dinner on a Tuesday. Do it up, I do. For the full ingredient list and directions, check the description box below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. So we're gonna use the cheapest cut of chicken in the supermarket, the chicken drumstick. And we're gonna cut all the way around the bone, right where the meat starts, keeping the knife in contact with the bone the whole time. Once we get all the way around, we'll take the end of the knife and just cut any of like the meat or tendons that are still connected. Now grab a paper towel to get a grip and pull it right off the bone. If there's anything stuck after, just take a knife and trim it off. And if there's any tendons sticking out, just grab a pair of kitchen shears and give those a clip. Doesn't that look pretty all trimmed up? So now we're gonna give a nice coating of olive oil for a binder and also some cooking fat to get started. We're gonna give a heavy coating of my base seasoning, which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. You can find a link to the recipe video in the description. Next up is some Italian seasoning, and you can see I'm not measuring, I'm just sprinkling right over the top. This is how you gotta cook on a weeknight. It'll take you forever, you start measuring everything. We'll also do the same thing with some smoked paprika. How much do you put on? Well, enough. Use your eyes, and you don't have to pre-mix your spices. You just mix it when it's in there on top of the chicken. It'll mix just fine. Just keep tossing it until everything looks nice and even. We're gonna take a baking sheet, line it with aluminum foil, and put a raised grate on top. Now when I put the chicken on them, I'm really gonna focus on stretching out the skin. You know, the skin is really what makes these things super duper crispy, and you don't want the skin all bunched up. You wanna make sure that it's nice and flat, so it cooks really, really well and gets super duper crispy. So take your time and really stretch the skin. These are gonna go in a 385 degree convection oven for about 20 minutes for the first cook. Now we're gonna take some Greek yogurt for a base for our ranchy blue cheese dipping sauce. You can use sour cream. Then we're gonna take some ranch dressing. I got the light stuff because I'm trying to cut some calories. You can use the full fat stuff if you like. Now a little splash of some white vinegar for some acidity. And uh, we're gonna throw in some uh, crumbled blue cheese. I mean, it's already pre-crumbled, we'll just throw the whole thing right in there. Now we're gonna put some fresh cut chives. A pinch or two of salt. Now we're gonna give it a good mix until the vinegar incorporates with the uh, ranch dressing and the yogurt, and uh, it doesn't look liquidy anymore. I love making this sauce because a big debate is ranch or blue cheese sauce with any buffalo stuff, and this is the best of both worlds. So we're gonna take that, and we're gonna put that in a container and throw it in the fridge so all the flavors come together. Now let's make our buffalo sauce. We're just gonna take some melted butter, we're gonna throw that inside of a squeeze bottle. And now to mix with the butter, we're gonna put an equal amount of Frank's Red Hot that we're just gonna pour right in there. We'll give it a good shake. And just to make sure that it tastes okay. Mmm, yummy. So now these have been cooking for about 20 minutes. We pull them out and you can see that they're not fully cooked, but they're a little browned. Now this is where the magic comes in. We're gonna flip the chicken because the chicken on the bottom now has all the rendered fat on top of it and we're gonna turn it right side up and now that's gonna cook and get crispy on the top. So this is gonna go back in the oven for about 20 minutes and after about 20 minutes, you can see that it's even a little bit more brown and a little bit more crispy. But we're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna give it another flip and when we're flipping it again, the fat has rendered down. So now that skin on the top has all that chicken fat on top of it and it's gonna go back in the oven for the last like 10 to 15 minutes to get a nice crisp on it and now look how crispy this skin looks and it looks like it was totally deep fried and it was just flipped around in the oven on a convection setting after these have cooled for a little bit we're gonna take them we're gonna throw them inside of a mixing bowl we're gonna be careful not to damage them we're gonna put our buffalo sauce on top and then we're gonna give them a toss now we're gonna give them a nice gentle toss until they're nice and evenly coated. Once they're evenly coated, we can start plating. And what I like to do here is just crisscross all the drumsticks. It makes it easy to pick up. Now we're gonna give it a little sprinkle of some green stuff. So chives right on top of our ranchy blue cheese and a little sprinkle on top of the chicken, make it nice and pretty. Now seriously, how delicious do these look? the ultimate appetizer for any game day. 
You can stop licking your screen right now. These look absolutely awesome and I can't wait to try one. Uh, I think I'm gonna take this one. And look how awesome this looks. I mean, just like, a, it's like a big chicken drumstick buffalo wing. So let's pop this inside of our ranchy blue cheese. Oh man. Look at this bite. Well, here we go. Oh man. Mm. I'm eating this alone, so I'm going double dip. Wow. I mean, it just falls right off the bone. So good. These were absolutely unbelievable. Uh, let me know in the comments section how your chicken lollipops come out. Uh, if you like this recipe video, don't forget to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Thanks for watching.